What is going on guys? This is Mr. Dancan18 coming at you with the next episode of our Farming Simulator 2013 Let's Play. Now, at the end of our last episode, I believe what we were, had talked about doing was to work toward the biogas down here. It takes a lot of equipment though, and I was doing a little math, and just the very basic stuff is going to take about 800,000 bucks. Whoops, machine type. Um, so, like, just this machine that we're going to use and the header, excuse me, oh, uh, yeah, that's the right header, that goes with it. I mean, that's, you know, 430-something thousand dollars, not including any of the other equipment that it takes to get started. So, it's actually going to take quite a bit more harvesting of the fields we already have. So, let's go ahead and start doing that. What I think we may do today, though, is work toward buying this field. I want to say it's a hundred thousand. We need to go over there and look at that. But let's get started just on harvesting some of our crop that we have. And as soon as I logged in, a mission popped up for us that we're going to do also. Uh, there's the golf course. Yeah. So let's get going. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to grind out some crop to get the equipment we need for the biodiesel plant. Whoa. I wasn't on the right tool. There we go. Alright, let's cut some grass. I'm going to leave the missions on. I know they pop up sometimes and are aggravating, but... definitely make us some money and that's what we're trying to do right now is to get enough money to upgrade our stuff because once we get the biogas stuff going it's going to be gravy from then on out and then we can do what we want maybe do the uh, dairy farming after that and get the equipment we need to uh, start selling some of our wool we'll need a tractor with a front fork Speaking of sheep, I probably need to go cut some grass. Because I've fast forwarded time a couple of times in between these harvests. So that, you know, we can, uh, so the crop will grow faster. And I bet the sheep have ate most of that grass that I have in there. There's only 20 sheep though, so probably not all of it. We'll check. Alright. Yeah, we still got some in there, and I need to jump into the this and get it going so that we can offload that harvester because I think it's, let's see, start engine, preheat, start engine. Okay. Oh, wait. I have corn in here because I forgot about this. Out at the port, there is a great demand. So let's go sell it. Completely forgot. That's why I have corn in here. Cool. So I bet our harvester is going to stop, but that's okay. Leave the map on for you guys. Some of you that don't know where some of the locations are. I'm really liking this modded tractor. It's very cool. One of the things I learned the hard way <laughs> was that uh, you guys may have heard me talk about that it's kind of a pet peeve of mine to not drive on the crop. Well, with the in-game, the regular game uh, tractors, it doesn't harm the crop at all or affect the yield uh, if you drive over the crop. But with this modded tractor, it's more realistic and it does. So it, you know, if you drive over, I had to, uh, sort of the same situation. Oh, 
There's the, there's the golf course again. Sort of the same situation where I had the harvester going where I had to drive off, so the harvester got stopped. Where I had to drive on the crop to offload it. I guess I could have drove the harvester away from the crop. But anyways, I didn't know that this tractor would do that, and I drove over the crop, which was... Which was <laughs> kind of funny but uh anyways you live and you learn here do I need to start it again yeah it's pretty cool you have to preheat it <laughs> let it warm up all right get the map off now go away all right so let's rehook it up go offload a harvester and then go cut some grass if it occurs a lot in this episode the grass cutting I'll start cutting it out because Sure you guys will get fed up with watching me cut grass. <laughs> Over it. And hopefully it got stopped with the pipe putting the right direction for for me and I don't have to drive on the crop. Come on. Ah. Uh. What I'll probably do is drive him away from the, uh, back him up here. Just miss the worker. Hey, you know, that's a good question. Uh, I've always wondered that. Um, when a hired worker gets stopped, like what just happened with the harvester, do I continue to get caught? charged for his payroll or if he gets stopped does it stop charging let me know if you know that because you know one of you guys in the comments because I've always wondered that but I've never googled it or tried to find out myself because I'm lazy What I'll do is I'll go park the tractor at the other end while we go cut the grass so we try not to get stopped again like that. Because it's not very efficient or convenient to have to do what we just did. But it's, it is more realistic that you can't just drive over the crop with your tractor. <laughs> right, and let's change it. and let's go cut some grass.
A, use control 2, turn it on, there we go. Then I'll go after this. I'll go repark the tractor that's offloading the harvester, and then we'll go cut some grass for the sheep. That pallet was almost full. I don't know if you saw the in the statistics, but I think it said it was 90%. It was over 90% or something. We'll check. So we're almost there with one pallet of sheep, of sheep, with one pallet of wool from the sheep. gather too. We might do that. And then we probably need to sell some crops so we can get to a hundred thousand bucks to uh, and buy that big field next door. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Turn you around. Uh, 92%. So, as the next, when I hit, you know, when I fast forward time and plant growth speed after I replant the fields, I bet we get to 100% on that. And then I'll just use the profit hopper here to push it off of the spot that it collects, and we'll be good. Turn on the mower. some grass. I don't think at the moment the feeding trough over there will even hold a full load of this because I only have 20 sheep it only lets you put whoops it only lets you put a certain amount depending on the amount of sheep you have let's dump this in there drive it back over wow right in a row We'll take it though. Money, money. We need it. Yeah, maximum capacity. So I guessed about right. Drive this guy back over. Alright, I'll do this next mission on camera. If I get any more in this episode, I won't make you guys watch it. I just know some uh, a lot of you guys don't like me to edit, but so I'll, I'll do this one, this one more on camera, and then if there's any more, if they keep giving me right in a row like this, I'll edit it out. Right, let's turn this guy around. Do it again. Getting kind of a rhythm going. Whoa. Oh, 
Alright. You know, some of these golf carts that are around, too, uh, I learned that you can, uh, that you can drive some of those guys. <laughs> I thought about driving it back to the, uh, driving one of them back to the, our farm, and using it sort of as a, <laughs> I think there's a mod where you can get a four-wheeler, and some people use it as just to get around. <laughs> we may could use a golf cart to do that. drive the eggs down to the place where you sell the eggs or something like that. <laughs> this is just the way to make money. If you uh, if you noticed when we started the episode, I want to say we were in the 40,000s, I believe, uh, as far as cash goes. Now we did sell that corn, but I think that corn was, I don't know, 10 to 15,000 bucks. The rest has just been grass cutting missions. This is definitely the way to go. Alright. Timing? About. Go around. <laughs> Park it and then go check on the eggs. Well, actually, let's look in statistics. Alright, yeah. So there's some eggs to be collected. Then we'll go sell them. me not editing anything out, I may have to buy the that next field in the next episode. Because we're actually staying pretty busy. Jump out and run over and get some eggs. It's another thing about that modded tractor is it does stay running when you when you jump out. So I guess it does use up some gas. By, by the way, I filled up off camera. Right over there, that red tank is where you fill, where you fill up. And there's other locations on the map to fill up, but that just happened to be where I was. So 27x. So that's where I filled up. So if we can find them all. There's always one on the post. <laughs> Bunch over here. Code cargo. Deny. Pallet, pallet fort mission. Pick it up. All right. Eight left. Seven. Man, they're everywhere. Two. One. Yeah, I about never find this one. Where are you at? Off in the corner here? No. Alright, so screw that. <laughs> This guy seeding. I believe each. I believe this field was barley. The other one was wheat. The large field. 
next to it. Oops. Let's see. Statistics. There we are. A lot of canola. But we're harvesting wheat and barley right now. The canola on the small field. And maybe wheat or barley over there again. Get up. Canola. Hard work. It's at 96%, so we'll go ahead and dump it. And the silos, what we're going to try to do, that's another pallet fort mission. What we're going to try to do is wait on some great demands. We get enough grass cutting missions. <laughs> we could buy that field just using those. And since we're over here, let's go ahead and see what the price of it is. To forget, I want to say it's right at a hundred thousand, but I don't know. It'd be cool if an auction would come up because you almost always can get it cheaper via auction. Toward that. Maybe in the next episode, though. My goal, I think this is episode 7 or maybe 8. I'm not sure. I think 8. Um... My goal, you know, you may remember a couple of episodes ago, whoop, <laughs> I asked you guys about the 10th uh, episode. Every 10 episodes on my Let's Plays, I want to do something, you know, special, for lack, for lack of a better word there, where we, uh, there we are, where we, um, do something cool like a multiplayer or a, or a extra long episode like an hour long episode and it looks like this first time we're gonna do a, an hour long episode so my goal was to try to have everything we need for the biodiesel so I could do the first biodiesel harvest uh, you know harvest of the chaff and stuff like that um, okay my mouse is not responding there we go. What was that about? Anyways, uh, so we could do the first harvest of the chaff. And do the whole first... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? First, you know, making of the silage and stuff like that. And uh, making biodiesel. Uh, you know, sell it. Wow, I have lost the ability to talk. Get this guy going, and then I'll go back to stuttering. Anyways, doing our first harvest via the biodiesel plant in that hour-long episode. <laughs> Massive fail, but you guys know what I meant. So that's my goal, is to try to do that. Try to get everything we need before episode 10. So we can do our... Usually, that large field down there next to the bio plant makes you, I think, something like half a million bucks. So, a couple of those, and it's paid for all the equipment. Let's drive down and sell the eggs. <laughs> Still laughing at myself, not being able to talk. That's what I get for doing so many things at once. Oh no! Yeah, that was that was great. <laughs> Good thing these things are indestructible. Oh, yeah, I'm stuck on there. Excuse me, guy. Wow, the second half of this episode has just been fail sauce. <laughs> Yeah. 
probably just run over there. Yeah. Don't run me over. Yeah. Excuse me. Right. Excuse me, guy. So we'll drive up and begin the process of offloading our other guy, our other field, harvesting our other field while we plant canola on the small field and I'll probably replant maybe probably more canola on this large field here. Oh, uh, he's going to get turned around. Let me see if I can stop him. Oh, no way. Damn it. It was going to be pointing the right direction. Rehiring. Idiot. He's almost done. By the way, if you didn't know... I'm tabbing. I'm using tab to tab through my equipment. If you go one too far, you can shift tab and it goes back. All right. Let's see if we've got it. I don't get the right speed. Nope. Let's try one. Who's going to go one? Yeah. Trying to use the limiter. Slow him down a little bit. I'm just gonna park him. Alright guys, we are approaching 30 minutes of an episode, so I'm gonna cut it right here and continue to fail on my own time. <laughs> Park him right over here and get him ready to to see the new the other field. But seems like a good place to end the episode. I'll harvest this field, replant, probably grind out a few more harvests, and then what we'll do is we'll sell some on the next episode and buy this field right here. Appreciate you guys watching. Leave any comments you want in the comments sections, making fun of me as much as you want. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks guys. Bye.